It's been a really interesting year for tech in 2013. Well, here's to the next one. Hey, what's up guys, it's Austin here, and 2013 has been an incredible year for technology. We've seen so much innovation from all of these different manufacturers, and since the year is almost over, I thought I'd bring you guys this video. So without any further ado, this is my top five tech in 2013. Now keep in mind this is a personal list so if I missed anything be sure to let me know in the comments but this is just things that I either found really innovative breaking ground like a new form factor and things like that or just really cool so these aren't necessarily products these are just categories of technology that have seen the most innovation in 2013. So to start our list off at number five we have content streaming. And I know that sounds really vague, and it kind of is, but I can basically put this into two categories. That's either bringing content to the living room or just cloud computing in general. Uh, number one is something that just came out recently, and it's a game console. The Xbox One um, just basically integrates your home entertainment system so you can play games, watch TV, and do everything social on the internet that you would need to do through one console and there's been a big push for that this year just uh, a lot of media integration also the Nvidia Shield this is something you can use to bring games into your living room and play them on there also you can stream uh, games right onto the console through the cloud so that's a lot of technology to be playing games through servers and having it beam down to you and still have it run really well so a lot of innovation there also along the lines of gaming we have Steam OS this is something again will bring media into your living room so that you can do everything all at once in one place and the last example I have is one of the more simpler things on the list it's a $35 HDMI dongle that you can just plug into your TV and stream all of your content right onto your TV. Chromecast is an amazing device. It doesn't have as much support as I would want it to see, You can, but you can basically do what most people want to do. You can watch Netflix on it, you can watch YouTube on it, but the fact that just this small dongle can just plug into your TV and bring you all that, I think that's pretty impressive. Next on my list at number four is something also really vague. I'm just going to say pixels. Screen technology has improved dramatically in 2013. At the beginning of the year at CES 2013 we saw a bunch of new stuff like 4K resolution on these gigantic screens and they just look so good but the price didn't look as good as the TVs did. They were, these things were like tens of thousands of dollars but if you go on Amazon right now you can get a 50 inch 4K TV for less than a thousand dollars and I think that's really impressive even in things like smartphones we're seeing things with ridiculous pixel density uh, these screens are looking better than ever the technology that goes into them is amazing and we're even gonna see things next year uh, there's been a lot of rumored things like 2k displays in smartphones which at this point it's kind of getting ridiculous cuz I'm pretty sure uh, there's a point of no return where you can't really see the difference but the fact that we can uh, just produce five inch screens that have the more pixels than my monitor over here is pretty amazing. Also flexible screens, I'm sure you've all seen the LG Flex and the Galaxy Round. Those phones both feature flexible screens and it's not as impressive as it is in the phone because it's kind of just a, a rounded smartphone even though it does have some uh, self-healing features and things like that. But if you take the screen out of the phone and just look at the screen itself, that is magic. Number three on my list is something that is very high in cool factor, but it is also very practical and usable. And I guess it's kind of fitting that it is number three. Uh, this is 3D printing. Now this is something that isn't necessarily new, but again, in the past year, it's been highly worked on and we're seeing a lot more practical uses for it. Not only do we have 3D printing, we have 3D scanning, so you can basically use a scanner and a printer for 3D objects, and if that's not cool to you, I don't know what is. And 3D printing has come a long way from just stacking up layers. There's things like material that can just literally just print in space, and 3 Doodler, which is basically a hot gun that you can put on your piece of paper and just like draw things from the ground up. It, it's crazy. I'll, I'll leave a link to the video, in, like these videos in the description, but just go check it out. 3D printing is really cool. Um, you can print things like album records. If you have a vinyl player, you can play it on that. But it can also be kind of scary. Uh, there's a guy who printed a 3D gun. Um, so I'm, I'm not kind of sure where this will go, but for the most part, this is really innovative technology and it can be very useful in the future. 
At number two, we have virtual reality. Now, it's kind of crazy to think that something that you saw in the Jetsons 10 years ago is actually going to be coming out next year. I'm talking about things like Kinect, which is pretty old, but if you look at the new Kinect on the Xbox One, it's kind of amazing. A lot of people aren't going to buy the Xbox One because they're like, it's $500, I don't really need Kinect. But if you look at the things that Kinect can do, it can monitor your heart rate while you're sitting down. There's also Leap Motion, which like the Kinect is available for consumers to go buy. This is something that doesn't have a lot of practical use, but if it's implemented correctly in the future, it's also a really cool thing. And the, probably the coolest thing um, in virtual reality that we've seen this year is hands down Oculus Rift. If you don't know what Oculus Rift is, it's basically everything I want in life. It's a gaming headset that basically allows you to have 360 degrees of vision while playing a game so it feels like you're actually in the game. And one of the more impressive things about it is the price point. This is something that's going to be readily available to consumers. I don't have to be super rich um, to live like the Jetsons, so this that's just freaking awesome. And number one might be kind of obvious to you guys. It's something that isn't necessarily new, but we've seen a lot of improvement and a lot of new form factors this year. This is wearable technology. Now, if the skydiving stunt from Google didn't pull you into this, then that I don't know what to tell you, but Google Glass is something that's constantly being approved on in their Explorers program, and just to have that HUD on your face is a really cool thing to have. Also, wearable technology like smartwatches. Um, I have a review of the Galaxy Gear. I didn't think it was that great, and I also have a rant video that I posted a while back, but I also, I sincerely believe that if there is something they can do to implement smartwatches correctly, then it's going to be something that everyone will have, and we will never question going back to regular watches. But as of now, smartwatches, eh, they're not that great, but the fact that we have wearable technology in general uh, shows that we are truly like moving towards the future, which is scary, but kind of awesome at the same time. There was also things like smart wigs, which I feel are less practical than smart bras, but wearable technology is cool. I'm excited to see where it's going to go in the future, and that takes the number one spot on my list. So that is my list of the top five tech innovations of 2013. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below what your list would be, whether you would add something or remove something, or just a specific product that you've seen in 2013. I'm really excited to see what 2014 has to offer us and how much money these companies are going to make me throw at them. So uh, this has been Austin. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Mm.